morning everyone welcome back to another video on my channel i'm just going to pop you in my holder so i don't have to put my arm in the air okay in the process of trying to do that i just locked my phone so i obviously cut off the video so that wasn't the best thing to do but there we go so we're back um we're with another actually i'm gonna sit goes around i think so let's move this around here that didn't help that noise definitely didn't sound good so basically i'm going to be filling those drawers that i emptied um i realize it probably doesn't make any sense because obviously i'm going to be moving and taking these drawers with me so it probably doesn't make any sense to put more stuff in them but basically i just want to figure out like before i move um how i've just realized that i haven't actually took out all the spice racks yet so i'm just doing that but i just suddenly like thought i'd rather know when i move like exactly how i'm going to want everything so I'd rather do it now, get everything in, and then when it comes to moving, everything will already be in like containers and stuff. And then all I've got to do is literally just take the containers out, transfer them to the other house, and then put the containers back where I had them. So I'll take pictures of the drawers so I know where I kept everything. And that's it, I haven't left about when I move. So I'm going to do it now. I've got lots of containers free to use for this task. Um, I do need to get some wipes though because some of them are a bit like glittery or you know just random bits and bobs are in them so I've got these ones like the clear clear ones and I've got some white ones um, I don't actually have a major amount of makeup so I actually think I might be able to just use one drawer which would be really useful um, maybe two at a push so I've got yeah lots of lots of containers basically. I think I'm pretty sure I've got some more over there as well. So we've got lots going on. Um, I'm gonna do it in the bottom drawer just because I'm not planning on filling all the drawers. And obviously, um, I don't want to make it top heavy because that wouldn't really make any sense. I've also got an absolutely massive cup of tea. It did say Friday here, but the dishwasher's worn off. Um, because I thought it's gonna be a long task, so I'm gonna need a lot of tea. Um, so yeah I think I should just get into it instead of rambling on and on and on um, so first things first like I said I'm just going to clean this bottom drawer because it's really glittery and I forgot about it um, and then I'll flip you around and show you what we're working with okay I've got, as, I've got it as clean as I can without a hoover and stuff because I really can't be bothered to do that so I'm going to show you everything that I've got we've got this one here that's full and then we've got, this one's ridiculous, this one here that's full. I don't usually keep my makeup like this, by the way. It's literally just how I've carried it downstairs because it was all upstairs. And then this one here as well. So I think with the palettes, I'm going to quite literally just put them in here like flat so I can actually see them. Um, because I don't use any of the palettes because they're always sort of like hidden. Uh, so I think I'm just going to use one drawer literally just to just to get all these in basically um what even is in this palette see look at that literally one color's got a little bit out of on this one and they were probably just swatches to be fair to be honest i like this one just for the mirror <laughs> um and then we've got this one which i have used i need to stop doing that that's a horrible angle <laughs> that one i have used a little bit this one i use all the time it's a bronzer and blusher uh, let's put the flash on. Blonde, there's a bronzer and blusher palette. And I absolutely love that too. I do use that a lot. So I keep that at the front. I don't really wear eyeshadow. So I'll pop those at the back. I really wanted a palette to fit in this gap perfectly. That would make me really happy. But I don't think it's going to. Which is really annoying. But you know, what can you do? So maybe that's better. That fit? No. What is this? I think this came in a a look fantastic box or something like that. It's actually very pretty. Never used it, obviously. Um, oh, that is so annoying. And then this one is a sleek palette. I lost the brush, but I use this quite a lot. I do like those highlighters. Um, I don't know how to. Do you know what? I might actually having them all like, properly spread out I might 
just rest them on each other so I can fit them all. I definitely want that one at the front just because I reach for it all the time. The Santa Pay one can just sit there. I don't really, I don't really reach for that to be honest with you, but that one's not going to work out there because it's so small. So it can go here. Like that. That'll do. That's that corner done. Right. Next up, I need to figure out which... Um, what's it called? So which of these things fit in different places? Let's move that. Doesn't help that all the stuff's already in one. I need a long one for here. Okay, this is how I've done it. Obviously I need to clean the boxes, but we've got this drawer here and then this drawer, I've just put these four in. I don't want to put anything at the back because I won't be able to reach for it quickly. Um, and it's all about convenience. So eventually when I move, I will put sticky dots on the bottoms of all these just to keep them in place. Um, but for now, I'm quite happy with how this looks. So what I'm going to do is probably sort everything into piles of certain things, like all the bronzers together, concealers together, mascaras, all that sort of thing, lip products. So I'm going to do that um, on the floor next to me. I will film it, but I'll speed it up because it's going to be pretty boring. Okay, I've done that. So I think the rest of this is going to be much easier. So now I can see what I've got very little of and put that in a place, obviously, that is small and, you know, I can can see how many things I've got and where I need to put stuff. So here I'm going to do foundations because I have a silly amount of foundations. Not necessary to have this, oh god I've zoomed out instead of in. Not necessary to have this many at all but you know they're all different colours as well because my skin colour is all over the place. Um, obviously sometimes I use sunbeds, sometimes I don't and then I'm really really pale and yeah it's it's all over the place basically so it's a bit it's a bit of a nightmare I don't know how I'm going to fit all these in here this one's really long so I want to put that there I don't even use half of these I'm not going to lie but you know I just I have them just in case the ones I do use the most are these two up this corner. I feel like I want those on the top. Just because I actually do reach for them quite often. So I'll put those here. And then the rest are all in these annoying... I actually use that one and this one. No, this one the most. This is brilliant stuff, by the way. If you wear makeup and you haven't tried it, definitely give it a go. That's that one done. We're getting somewhere, thank goodness. And then <clears throat> we've got setting sprays, which obviously are quite large. So I think I'm going to yeah, have to put these in the long run. Just because basically don't have anyone they'll fit in. I'm going to put the fix on the top because that's the one that I always use. Perfect. And then we've got powders. Which I think I'm going to pop like that. I don't really use powder that much. I've got really dry skin. Um, so powder's not really ideal <laughs> for dry skin, obviously. And I'm going to put a highlighter and a blush in there as well. Literally just because I've only got one of each. So there's no point in it having its own thing. Um, I'm going to put lip care in here. I've not got a lot of those. Perfect. And then in here we can get going with this one. So I've got primers next, which I think will fit easily in here. Perfect. Oh, I'm sorry, didn't even realise you couldn't see that, but that's what that looks like. Um, and then lip products. I'm going to go for this, this one. I don't have a great deal of lip products, so I don't really feel like I need... I don't really feel like I need a lot of space for them too much. Should I swap something around? No, it's fine. We're going with it. Pop those in there. 
this is actually a liquid blush not a lip product <laughs> but i actually do use it as a lip product because it's um it's a really nice color but i'm going to put it with the blush considering that's where it's supposed to be so that can go down there in there and then we've got um what are these called bronzers is that going to close perfect i love this packaging how beautiful that is stunning so yeah just beautiful never use it it's too dark but never mind um so there we go there's that i use this mac finisher plus quite often actually this is like a blast to the past blast from the past i use global glow and it's just stunning like when you've got a tan in the summer it looks beautiful uh okay so lip products are over there i've missed one lashes i've got a lot of mascara i mean it's actually pretty pointless now because i've got lashes on so i'm not going to be using them for a long time but you know they're there if i need them it's fine I'm just going to zoom out just a little bit there we go and then last but not least we've got concealers a ridiculous amount of them and then that will go in the lash one and then we've got some powder here as well which is annoying because it's not going to fit in there so i'm going to have to take those out that is a powder highlighter so i'm going to put that back in there and then my blushes i think i'm going to put down here just because they fit <laughs> so it works so i'm really happy with how this turned out actually it looks fab um the only thing i've got now is brushes um so i need to find a box big enough for them because there's quite a lot all right so i've got this one um i'm going to use this and basically just throw them all in because is there even a like basically what i'll be doing is having like a a thing on top of the um the chest of drawers for brushes when i move into the house but obviously for now this set of drawers is in my nail room and I don't want brushes, I don't want a set of brushes sat on the top of my desk, which is absolutely nothing to do with nails. So I'll do that um, when I move, basically. I've also just found a couple of brow products, which is just great. <laughs> so that's those. Clearly my beauty blenders need cleaning. They are disgusting. Um, yeah, I think that's it, really. I've got a pair of lashes and some brow and lash stuff i'm going to put the lash glue in there and move all these down and put the lashes there and then the brow stuff can go i don't know i don't even use it to be honest it's literally just those things where you have them just in case and then never use them anyway i don't even think this is the right color for me. i'm pretty sure it's too light Mm, it's not quite as dark as I'd like, but you know, it's one of these things. I'm going to put that down there just because it fills a gap, and you know how much I love to fill a gap. Um, and then I'm going to put this brow glue not down there because it does not fit in that gap. Um, well, brow sort of eyes, isn't it? So I'm just going to put it in there. It's the same thing. Um, yeah, so thank you for joining me for this video. I absolutely love filming videos like this. They're definitely my favourite, especially because I get stuff done and get a video out of it. So it's perfect. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. If you made it to the end, congratulations. Um, oh, I've also got some hair clips as well, which I could do with a little, just a little pot to put these in. Actually, what's in that little one? Hmm. I'm going to put those there, just because, again, they fill a gap. But then I've also got three of these large, long sort of ones. I'm going to put those in with the brushes, because when I reach for a brush to start my makeup is when I'm going to need to clip my hair back. So it works well. It's fine. There we go. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I'll be back soon with another video. Bye!